dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message today we are going to pray for why we need people's police from rulers police in india content for this video i given in the description you can go through and study as per the police laws both the central and state police forces come under the superintendent and control of political executives this has resulted in the lack of democratic functioning and appropriate direction police priorities are frequently altered based on the will of political executives neither the politician nor the bureaucrats want to lose their control over the police this enables the executives to reduce the police to mere tools in the hands of political leaders to fulfill their vested interest it seems that the police force has become a puppet in the hands of its political masters despite of several reforms laid by the commissions and the government there has been very limited reforms in the police department due to political pressure on the police force they are unable to perform their duties and responsibilities within proper laws laid down most of our police in the country face political pressure and have to go against their duties and responsibilities towards the society and the nation they are forced to allow certain criminal or illegal activities for the benefit of their political interest presently small time criminals gradually become dons due to political patronage initially they are used to threaten inconvenient persons gradually they start their own extraction rackets or take to violence adulteration or hoarding of essential commodities as local politicians successfully neutralize the police and other enforcement agencies entering into dubious land deals real estate hotel and restaurant business flushed with black money they form dangerous criminal gangs giving protection to these illegal activities and collecting money from them in riches officers of different departments as well as politicians it is a vicious cycle in maharashtra it was agonizing to see the police being used by a political party in power as an instrument of extortion to collect money from hotels and dance bars india is full of criminals who enjoy the protection of politicians and vice versa it is the reason our state assemblies and parliament have a large number of law makers with a criminal background even not one political party in india regional or national has ever talked about police reforms or taken any action in this regard they only criticize the party in power to score political points no political party in india wants to let go of the control of police because it serves their political and personal needs there have been several police commissions and committees reports and even orders of the supreme court of india suggesting quite a few police reforms but none of these have been implemented in letter and spirit by the central and state governments a sizable section of the poll political class and influential bureaucracy has become so habituated to, to using misusing and abusing the police force that the issue of reform sounds as an anathema to them moreover not all police officers are reform minded many young ips officers lost their idealism early in their careers because of fear of vengeful politicians are disloyal subordinates the fears of proactive dedicated officers about reprisal over honest action against powerful men in society and politicals are well known every time there is a change in power in any state after an election the best official change or transfer that happens in usually of the director general of police are a and a few other police officers down the line 
new, new postings are done on the basis of political proximity, caste and greed and loyalty, personal agenda and sometimes money. As such, the political party that was in power until a day ago starts criticizing the new party for the functioning of the police force as if the police and its functioning changed overnight. The police have always been an exploitative arm of the government irrespective of which political party was in power. This has been the standard practices in India since independence and in all states across the country. The police leadership too has sometimes failed to do its duty impartially and joined hands with the politician to remain comfortable and enjoy some benefits. They also protect each other in terms of any political or administrative crisis. Since the police is a state subject according to the constitution of India, there has to be a consensus among the central and state governments. If the political class decides there is a need to amend the constitution to bring the police under the union list or concurrent list, then all the parties have to be on board. The first step of police reforms has to be the country's political class giving up the direct control of the police force. Once the fountain head has been taken care of, the rest will automatically follow. The police should be accountable only to the law of the land and parliament and assemblies. It is time that we freed the police from the clutches of political masters and transform it from ruler's police to people's police. Bible talks about ruler's police in India. In Romans chapter 13 verse 3 to 4, For rulers are not a terror but to conduct good conduct but to bad. Would you have no fear of one who is in authority? Then do what is good and you will receive his approval for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Also in Proverbs chapter 28 verse 2, A lawless nation will have many bad leaders, but a smart leader will rule for a long time in a land where peoples obey the law.